Hello. Today I'm working on an Acer laptop. This is a Z5WAH, or in American, Z5WAH. When you turn it on, it just makes noise. It's uh, like the hard drive is failing. I'll turn it on for you so you can see. I don't know if you can, you can't really see. This is uh, also a uh, coaster. It's a bit dirty, but obviously not the worst I've seen. Well, that's interesting. There's, it looks like something, some sort of sticky substance got closed in the hinge. That's not a good omen, I think. Um, when we turn it on, well, without the power cable, when we turn it on, nothing happens. So it needs a battery. We got a charge light, power light. I'm not sure if that's coming through on the mic. The computer just sits at the you know, manufacturer logo and does nothing else. It's going me, me. So I'm going to turn it off without power. Oh, it stays on. So I'm going to see if Partition Wizard can even see the hard disk. It probably won't be able to, but it's worth knowing because sometimes cloning hard disks through the native hardware is simpler. So it doesn't even see the hard disk. Okay, I think I'm, I am going to have to take the hard disk out. I'll plug it into my USB adapter and see if I can get at it that way, but I'd say it's probably unlikely, and this might just need a fresh reinstall on a new SSD. So in this model, the battery comes out with this little mechanism here. It's a, an icon I didn't quite recognize, but apparently they're telling me to put a tool in there, pull it over, and that the battery will then come up. There are a lot of screws in here. I hope I don't get that sticky stuff on my hands. I might have to put on some gloves. I'm going to go at it from the back. They're loose. That screw wasn't tight at all. What was that? It's missing. I don't like these laptops where you have to take all the screws out and then open it up again. Maybe you don't have to. Maybe I can get the back off without articulating the hinge. Just because with these screws, that screw's not biting anything. With these screws removed, the hinges become really vulnerable. That screw's missing. This screw was half out. So someone tried to take this apart, or did take it apart, and uh, didn't put all the screws back. These screws are completely stripped out of the chassis. There's nothing holding these two screws here in. So I'm worried a little bit that this hinge might be already broken or on its way. Screws have pulled out of the plastic. Hmm. Okay, well, that screw was missing. That screw was very loose. That screw is completely loose. Very loose, not tight. It's like maybe somebody over tightened one or two, broke them, and then got nervous about tightening any more screws. So I can still see these two screws back here are in, but I can see the chassis flexing when I do that. Easy on the hinge. Okay, so the top is already open on this side. Don't know why. And I don't know why this just came out on that side, but not on. So the two screws that wouldn't come out are down here. Yes. So let me just see if I. Inside here. There are ribbon cables that we need to open up. Release. This one here. And then, just gonna have a look under here. 
So then the keyboard, it's one that you slide forward. You slide the, the edges away to unlock. This here, which I presume is the power button, also just flip that up and the ribbon cable comes out. So then this should be free, but this top corner where those screws were just turning infinitely is still attached. I see. So the screw has gone through a piece of this, through the metal, and on the other side of the metal, there is a threaded insert that the screw is threaded into, and I can't make that stop turning. I put this up. So the screw in question is here. There's a plastic something. There's a plastic screw boss, but it's really... Enough. There we go. All right, so we've got a little hinge repair necessary on this one. So the one piece left is this. Oh, I see. That's supposed to be attached to there, but it was yanked off previously, so it just came out this time. Oh boy. Okay. That screw boss is under a plate. Anyway, hard drive. Distracted from what I'm really doing here. Right, I'm going to pop this hard drive out, connect it to my USB to SATA connector, and see if we can access any data from that disk. Doesn't sound good. People are so funny. <clears throat> well, I spoke to the customer and explained that this hard drive is dead. There's I can't read any data from it. When I plug it in, it just clicks. So there's a there's an actual problem with it. And I offered my different solid state drive pricing and he doesn't care. He just wants it up and running, cheapest price. So we'll put a 250 gig SSD in here and install Windows. And then he confirmed that I have a 90 day guarantee. And I said, yes, sir. And he said, well, anything goes wrong, I'll be bringing it back to you. So I said, I expect nothing less. And hopefully that's all that's wrong. He meant there are some other issues with this computer. This side is broken off, so I might break out the uh, the super glue and glue that back on. Put some glue, the little plastic boss that holds the threaded insert here, as well as the one back here. So back here, there is a screw that's still coming through and stuck into a metal insert. So that metal insert needs to come out and be stuck into here to match this one. So this has got the insert in it. This one, the insert is still over there and ripped out. So I'm going to take the laptop away so that I have a little more room. I need to try to get that insert out of the back. There we go. I can see a lot of crumbs and things on this motherboard. I'm going to brush this off, blow it off. All right, so none of my repairs are going in here. The main two repairs are going to be to this top plate. Just going to carefully move this over.
Oh, okay. So I can do that. Now this insert here. I know I'm not very close up. Let's just do this. I really don't know how much of this insert is going to make contact here. And then in this corner, I need to lift up this boil. There's a bubble under here. I'm going to try to get a little glue on the outside of this. So I think I may put the computer back together with the new SSD. The owner suggested that uh, rather than going with the cheapest option, we'll put a 500 gigabyte SSD in here, which actually solves one of my problems is that I had run out of, nearly run out of 250 gigabyte SSDs. And I have another laptop here that needs one. So I have one 250, which will go in the other laptop. This machine here will get a 500. It's a thicker drive, but I think that won't matter once once this is in the caddy. Uh, it'll be supported properly, so it'll be fine. Uh, no, I'm going to put the spacer in there because it's not really supported on all corners. So we'll lay this spacer in there. Let me just make sure it lines up. Yeah. This to the side while I let it dry. Quite a tight fit, this. I mean, it's really interesting the way they do that. Yeah, that's not bad. So those three screws have to wait. I need to wait to put those in, but I do need to put a little pressure on that while I get these connectors in. I'm going to tip this back and do it the same way I did it when I took it apart. Okay, well, before I put any screws in, I'm trying to avoid putting the screws in right away while the Gorilla Glue sets. Might as well put the CD drive in, the DVD drive. Power light. No boot. So we've got the Windows 10 installer running now. We are on our way, I think. I'll be back when Windows is done installing.
All right. Top done. Thanks for watching.